the National Border Patrol Counsel Sean Moran and Parker County Sheriff Larry Fowler is with us. Uh, I'll ask both, both of you, Sean, I'll start with you. Uh, is the border secure, as Harry Reid claims? Uh, if it is, I, I haven't seen that border. Uh, the information we have from agents is that the illegal uh, crossings are going up uh, throughout the sectors, both on the northern border and the southern border, and that uh, drug uh, load sizes are increasing, uh, as well as uh, smuggling activity throughout the southwest. Yeah, Sheriff, we have an estimate of 60,000 that, in fact, we are looking to house, which is why the president asked for $3.7 billion, estimated by October, 90,000. Uh, is, you know, how can you make that claim? It's either political and you're outright lying and using propaganda, or you just don't have a clue what's going on. What do you think it is? The, uh, actually, I'm not buying any of this border secure business. After what happened uh, to us over uh, this past weekend there in Parker County, Mm -hmm. well, we had, um, go ahead. well, we had a, a 911 call came into our center at the sheriff's office from a lady who said uh, somebody broken into her house and sexually assaulted her, her daughter. Well, to make a long story short, we worked the case out, we made an arrest, and he's now in the Parker County Jail, but it's a Mexican national who had been deported from the United States back to Mexico four times and uh, he broke into these people's house in the middle of the night well actually about 4 30 in the morning but we were able to complete the case get him arrested and he's now in jail but i think this is probably the fifth time he's been illegally in the country but well, by the way wasn't and he wasn't he also a catch and release in other words that he was given a court date to appear which most of these guys aren't showing up for wasn't that the case in that case I, I don't have any information on that. I, my, my information is, I believe the man to be on some type of federal probation after being convicted in uh, con uh, federal court for illegal entry. And his well, well, entry started back in 2003. I, I, you know, it's, it boggles the mind. Uh, gentlemen, we're just running out of time, but thank you both for being with us and keep up the good work.